I'll be showing the Whiteboard app inside of Microsoft Teams that you can use for collaboration and brainstorming for meetings. So first off, I'm the educator in this case. I'm going to click Join to launch a meeting. Now first off, we're going to open up the share tray in this meeting. So I'll go here and click Open Share Tray. Now way over on the right, you might not have ever seen this, is Microsoft Whiteboard. And I'm going to click this to join and start the Whiteboard. Now the first choice I get is, do you want to present the whiteboard where only I can edit, or do you want to allow everyone to edit at once? In this case, we're going to start with just presenting the whiteboard. So as the educator, I'm just going to present this, but we'll open it up to allow other collaboration later. And I'll click Present Whiteboard. And you see there's a little pop-up that says only you can edit. If I wanted to change this, I would choose this switch to other participants can edit, yes. But for now, we'll leave it off. Okay, across the top, I have my toolbar, I have pens, an eraser, text box, sticky note. And we'll start with just some text boxes. So here's idealist number one. I'll create another one. Idealist number two. And a third one, idealist number three. Now with the whiteboard, I can drag wherever I want. So I'm going to drag this one over here. I'm going to drag this one right here. And I'll drag this one over here. And I've got some pens up here. So maybe I want to have underlined this one is red. And idealist number two is going to be the green list. And idealist number three is going to be the blue list. The other thing to note is that I can pan and zoom. So if I click here and panning and zooming, I can drag things over to the left. I'm clicking and dragging over to the right. And I can also zoom way out or I can zoom way back in. And so it's kind of that infinite canvas which is really nice. That allows you to have your ideas to flow wherever you want on the page. Now up here in the upper right, I'm going to go here and I'm going to turn on other participants can edit. So some of the students like Ella and Alex and Henry, we can all collaborate together on this whiteboard. Okay, I'll turn this on and the way we're going to do is we're going to collaborate for team names. So we're going to have the red team, the green team, and the blue team. And we're going to brainstorm sticky note ideas for the name of our project teams. Okay, everybody, Let's go. Okay, we're going to start adding notes. You can see Alex has appeared there, mine appeared. I'm going to type the red rovers and I'm going to drag this over into my idea list number one. You can see Alex has his sticky note there. I see other sticky notes appearing. And I'll make another sticky note and I'm going to drag this one down here into the list. I can see the green machines is there. And I'm going to call this one the red dragons. And maybe I want to have a little uh, green here on the green machine. And so I'm going to underline. That's pretty cool. And return to the blue lagoon. That's a great one. Now what's nice is I can pan in and out. So if I want to pinch and zoom backwards here, I can go way back and I can see what's going on in my list. I can go around and I can come back in. And I see there's some new ideas. I see return to the blue lagoon was already there. I'm going to drag this one uh, down into the list. And then we've got uh, bluebird day and a couple of other ones. So you can see how easy it is to collaborate. Now, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to put the board back into read-only mode. Okay. okay, everyone, great brainstorming session here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say off. So now what it looks like on the other screens, I'm going to switch to a student. You'll see that it pops to read-only. So here I am signed in as a student and you can see that the board has been marked read only and it says right here, it gives me little instructions and I can just say, got it. So now I can't change the board while the educator is talking and we've done our brainstorming. Okay, now that our brainstorming is all done, I can leave the meeting. One thing to note, you can open this up in the actual whiteboard app on Windows 10, but since this is all about the web app, I'm not gonna do that in this demo. The other thing is, is on the settings, you can export this whiteboard as an image. But when I end the meeting, I'm going to show where this whiteboard shows up in the future. So I'll click end meeting right here. Now the meeting has ended, but note right here in the meeting chat, you see files, meeting notes, and whiteboard. So this is the permanent home of that whiteboard. You see when I click that, it's always here and I can retrieve it for later. So that's where whiteboard lives. Another thing to note is that there's going to be many, many more features added to the whiteboard in the coming future inside of Teams. So come back for more videos as we show more additions of new features in whiteboard. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.